researchers, and welcome to the Washington International School How to Do Research Properly podcast. My name is Richard Anderson, and I'll be your guide. You're watching this because your teacher has asked you to cite your sources for a research project. This is a skill you will need for the rest of your academic life, so now is a great time to develop some good habits. Of course, you'll be asked to cite a variety of sources. But today's tutorial focuses on citing images. We will answer two very important questions and walk through citing an image using Noodle tools. The first question we'll address is where to find images I can use in my projects. And the second question will be how to properly cite my images using the MLA style. When a teacher asks you to use images in a project, it's very easy to fall into what I like to call a Google trap meaning that you immediately go to Google Images to find a picture of what you're looking for. Just because you can find it doesn't mean you may use it. Let me say that one more time just so it's clear. Just because you can find it doesn't mean you may use it. So how do you know you may use it? If the website has told you you may use the images, then you're okay. If it does not say you can use their images, then you should steer away from that site or in the very least ask a teacher or librarian. Here is a short list of sites you may use to find images for your projects. Creative Commons, PixForLearning.com, Wikimedia Commons, and Smithsonian Images. A great way to find images you may use is looking for images that have a Creative Commons license. This license tells you that the person responsible for making this image available on the web has attached certain permissions to their work, like letting students use their images for a school project. Great. Now that you've collected all of your images, it's time to cite them. To make this as easy as possible, you should always make note of the URL of your photo as you are downloading them. This will help you avoid having to hunt for them all over again. To cite your images in Noodle Tools, log into your account and create a new project. Use the MLA starter format and give your project a name. Once you have completed setting up your project, you will be taken to what's known as the dashboard. This is essentially an entire research project management interface. But for now, we are only interested in the bibliography. Click on the bibliography tab to begin making your work cited page. One of the first things you should notice is the drop-down menu near the top of the screen. This drop-down menu lists a variety of sources you might have to cite in your projects, including images. Choose from the list Painting, Sculpture, or Photograph and click Create Citation. Now you will find yourself in an interview about the source you are citing. These questions are intended to not only help you think about your source, but also give Noodle Tools the necessary information to create your citation. Read the questions carefully, and if you have questions about what they mean, ask your teacher or librarian. Upon completion of the interview, you'll be taken to the page where you'll be entering the required information for your citation. Here are the elements of the citation. The photographer or artist. The title of the image. The date or photograph the image was created the name of the website where you found the image, the publisher, the date of publication, the word web to indicate that you found the photo online, and the date you viewed it. According to the latest MLA style guide, citing the URL is not required. However, I highly recommend including the URL in your citation just to be sure uh, that you can find it again if needed. Now just fill in the blanks to the best of your ability. You may skip where it says annotation unless your teacher has specifically asked for an annotated bibliography. When you are done, click on Generate Citation. If you did not fill in all of the blanks, you will have to delete some of the placeholders before submitting your bibliography. Congratulations! You have now successfully cited all of your images. This has been a Washington International School podcast. Stay tuned for future episodes.